he was also a very close personal friend. Really? He never said? Oh, yes, well, I mean, that was Joe, wasn't it? You know what I mean? They're discreet, loyal, stum, a nice man, God rest his soul. Believe me, he's a great loss, a tragedy. I, uh, I trust you had him well insured. Yes, there is a policy. Yes, well, uh, a person has to protect themselves against the wicked tricks of fate. <laughs> Very sensible. One of us had to be. I'm sorry we can't accommodate your late husband here on the premises, Mrs Chambers, but as you can see, we are rather full. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. I can't have him at home. I've got my mother staying. She and my husband hated each other. To have him lying around the house yet again would be just too intolerable. Perhaps we should try somewhere else. Uh, forgive me, Mrs Chambers, but uh, this is not the kind of thing you shop around for, my dear. And uh, Mr Medhurst here does a lovely funeral, believe me. Uh, Medhurst. Uh, forgive me. And he's already handling the arrangements for bringing Joe, God rest his soul, back into the country. Yes, but what about the body? Well, that's uh, not a problem. I will arrange a dignified place of temporary rest. <laughs> what are friends for? <laughs> Well, I'm afraid I don't understand, Mrs. Chambers. You say that Mr. Wiseman never told you where your husband was? No, he didn't, and I can see why. And that Mr. Daly, the man who accompanied me to the airport, is in no way a relation? Don't you think I would know if he was? Well, yes, yes, of course, but it does all seem to me to be just a little odd. Odd is hardly an adequate term to describe the fact that my late husband has been parked in a garage, Mr. Meadhurst. Oh, well, I can assure you, Mrs. Chambers, I naturally yes, assume... Yes, yes, that... I know it isn't your fault. But if there's something funny going on, I would like to know about it. Uh, funny? It could affect the insurance policy. Uh, you seem to know Mr. Daly and his assistant, Sergeant. Oh, yes, I know them, Mr. Meadhurst. Uh, Meadhurst. Uh... And Monty Wiseman. I do hope you don't mean in a professional sense, Sergeant. That's precisely what I do mean, madam. I don't understand. What is going on? What has happened to my husband's body? I don't know, madam, but I intend to find out. What do you think, Rose? Well, with that little firm, it's got to be a bit iffy, Gav. But I wouldn't have thought Arthur and Terry were in the same league as Wiseman. Perhaps Arthur's getting ambitious. Sergeant! I'm sorry, madam, just thinking out loud. Now tell me, you say your late husband worked for Monty Wiseman. Doing what, exactly? We never talked much about what he did. Some sort of travel career, as I understood it. Uh, Mr Wiseman has a travel agency, you see. And that's not all. Sergeant, I demand that something be done... going on here? Uh, Mrs Chambers, I assure you... Are you, you responsible for this? Good gracious me, no. It was him, you see. Uh, you you bastard! Oh, you bastard! I'm arrested! 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 I'm arr